this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to create um, photo edges, uh, building on from our previous knowledge of creating photo edges on the previous tutorial. Um, we can now create um, photo edges with uh, custom shapes. That's what we're going to be showing you right now, which is a really powerful way because there are some really cool, powerful custom shapes that we're including a set with this tutorial. If you download the image, it comes um, with the image download. It comes with the uh, custom shapes and with the instructions on how to install that in Photoshop. And you can also do a search on the internet. There are tons and tons of different shapes that you can apply wild effects to your photo. So let's have a look how that works. Okay. Uh, the first thing that we want to do here, just to start off once you open your image is we want to just uh, bring up our layers palette here and uh, double click on the layer to unlock it we're just going to click OK so we've just made a layer without it being the background layer right now we're going to create another layer over here drag it to the bottom and paint it fill it in with white so that's alt and backspace if you have it on white to black here so alt and backspace all we're doing here is since we're going to create some um, really weird shapes here, some really nice looking stuff, um, it's actually going to eat into the photo. And I just want a white background there so that we can easily see what it is that we've done with the shape selection. So that's the only reason we've done that. Make sure you're on the, uh, the image layer here. Now we can close the, uh, the layer palette here. And all we need to do is just go to our layer brush, which is... Uh, a custom shape tool actually, um, which is just right here. If you have, by default would be the rectangle tool, you can select that. Over here at the top you can see that there's a whole bunch of different tools to select. The custom shape tool is right there as well. So there's two options to select the custom shape tool. And what you want to do here is, let me just uh, reset the shapes here to show you exactly what happens. When you open up your Photoshop here, chances are you're going to be in the uh, custom shapes, right? So these are the shapes that come by default with Photoshop. If you click on the little arrow here, then you can see that there are different uh, types of uh, of shapes that you can load onto. For example, let's go ahead and click OK here to load these arrows, for example. If you ever want to go back to the to the default, just click on Reset Shapes. Click OK and be back on the... You're not actually deleting anything, you're just choosing what to show. And if you've loaded our shapes correctly here that we include with the file download, it'll show up here, PSFT Shapes. So we're going to go ahead and click OK and load that. And here are our shapes. I'm actually going to expand that to show all of them here. And we have really cool um, shape effects here. And what we can do is just select one of these. For example, I'm going to select this one here. And making sure that we are on um, this here, the shape layers. That's the only thing we want to do here, the shape layers. We want to draw our shape here and let go. Okay, so we have some white. We want to press enter as well and make that selection. So we've made some white there. Now let's bring up our layers and see what happened. Right, so we have a shape with a mask, essentially. We have a white layer with a mask of that shape, so we can remove that, right? Now what we want to do is control and click on the mask here so that you have your selection. You can see the little marching ants going around. We want to unview that layer, so you can see that now we have that selection, right? We want to go back to our image layer and click on uh, add a layer mask. So we're just essentially adding the layer mask that we had for the shape. But instead of having a white shape, we are going to have actually the shape for our image. And there you are. It's a really cool custom shape. It seems like someone painted with a brush to create you know, this, this image. So it's a really cool way to create these different things. I would uh, encourage you to play around with the different shapes. And if you ever need something to you know, look like it's uh, been painted on and different and so forth, that's the shape tools to use. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.